Okay, um, so we're given a problem that we have a uh, spotlight on the floor or the on the ground. Uh, 12 meters away, we have a wall. And then we have an individual who is two meters tall, who is walking with some velocity towards the wall. So that velocity, um, x dot is equal to 1.1 meters per second. And what we want to figure out is how fast his shadow um, is going to uh, change on, on the wall. So uh, we expect that his shadow would be uh, linearly from uh, his position with respect to the spotlight. Um, so we can do this by uh, means of equal triangles. So let's make one triangle. Oh, I, let's set up our reference frame here. So he, we'll, we'll say he's some distance x from the spotlight. So we can, we can make one triangle off that. So the base of it is x. And we know that he is 2 meters tall. And then we also have the overall triangle from the spotlight all the way out to the wall. Uh, and then his shadow is going to have some height. We'll just call it h. And uh, the distance here is 12. And now, so these are uh, the shape of these or the geometry of these has to be equal uh, with respect to angles. Um, so let's put these on a new board since uh, YZant doesn't allow boards to scroll. So on this board, so we have these two triangles. First one is individual with respect to the flashlight. Second one is his shadow with respect to the overall distance across the ground. So we can relate these two. Um, so the tangent, so since this angle has to be same for both, these are both uh, right triangles. Um, since the tangent has to be equal, so then that means the opposite over the adjacent side has to be equal for each one. So um, for this one, the tangent would be h over 12, and that has to be equal to the tangent of the triangle that, that his uh, height makes with the spotlight position, and that would just be 2 over x. So we solve that for h. We get that the height of the shadow is 24 over x, where x is his distance from the spotlight. Now, what we want to figure out is how does the height of the shadow change with respect to um, his, him walking? So in that case, all we do is we just take the derivative of this. So the derivative of h, h prime or I should say h dot, the time derivative. So we take the time derivative. Um, so it would just be 24. And then the derivative of x in the denominator is just uh, negative out front over x squared. And then times the derivative of x with respect to time. So that would just be x dot. So h dot is equal to negative 24 x dot over x squared. Um, throw this up on a new board, and we'll do the final answer. So h dot negative 24 x dot over x squared. Now, x dot here is uh, the change in x with the change in time. So, and we, and we know that that's that's how fast the person that's how fast the person's position is changing with respect to the spotlight. Um, 
now if we look at x squared, um, so if we want to know, um, so if he's four feet from the wall, so if he's four feet from the wall, then in that case, for an overall distance of 12 to the wall, then at that case, x would have to be equal to 8. So we just plug in the numbers. So then h dot is negative 24 over 8 squared. And x dot was 1.1 uh, meters per second. So if we do the numbers on this, so negative 24. I get my calculator here. 24 divided by 64 times 1.1. So 86.21 meters per second. Oh, and my calculator. My Apple calculator goofed on me. Let me redo that one. It's not the correct answer. 24 divided by 64 times 1.1. There we go. Here's the correct answer. 0 0.4125 meters per second. So that should be our, that should be the change. Uh, and that should be negative. I got my negative out front. Um, so that should be how fast our the height. That's how fast our height of the shadow is changing as he's walking towards it. And that makes sense that it's a pretty small number as he gets closer to the wall. Um, when he's farther away from the wall, we do expect that the that the change in the shadow is faster. And then as he approaches the wall. Um, his shadow should approach his own height. And so then it would have to slow down and um, the end behavior would have to go flat. Um, so I hope this helps. Thank you.